Hey guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turbine. Today we're on episode two of this series where we're trying to go from $1,000 to $10,000. And in today's video, I tried to find something that was more realistic for maybe you know a younger person trying to get into this. I tried to find something that was pretty cheap that maybe uh, you know anyone kind of has that money to spend and get a taste of what it's like to buy and sell uh, some of these vehicles. So today we found, if I can get this, uh, there we go. Uh, this little Razor go-kart for only $75. It looks to be in decent shape. And I did a little bit of research and these things are 650 bucks, as you can see. Pretty crazy, brand new 650. So for $75, I think we're just gonna have to clean it up, maybe swap the batteries and we'll be, I think in under $150, hopefully sell it for like 300. Not a crazy profit, but I just wanted to find something that would provide an example for those who are maybe younger or don't have as much money to do this, that, hey, you can still get out there, make good profit margins. So we're gonna head over there right now. Hopefully it's as good as the photos and I'll check in with you guys as soon as possible. All right, guys, let's go jump in the truck and let's go get this thing. All right, guys, and if you're just now joining me, uh, make sure you check out the last video where I got a Segway Go-Kart Pro. We had a great flip on that one, got it for $800, sold it for $1,400. So if you wanna go see that process, go check it out. Um, and today's is definitely way less profit, way less uh, probably opportunity, but we're in at a much lower initial cost, which is important because not all of us you know, have that money to spend. When I first started doing this, I bought a $60 Razor dirt bike, uh, cleaned it up, made sure it was all good, sold it the same day for 180. So tripled, tripled the profit there. So you just gotta start wherever you can, whatever budget you got, you just gotta be on the look. And uh, today's just a video showing um, that you can get in way cheaper. And we're gonna see, who knows, might lose some money on this one, might win some. We're gonna have to do a little bit of work with this one because I think the batteries are needing replacement, which I've never done before. So you guys are gonna join me on that process for the very first time. And so I'm almost there, we're about 10 minutes away. Uh, we'll get a video of this thing as soon as I get it in the back of the truck. All right, guys, just picked it up. Pretty easy process. Came with the charger, we got the owner's manual, and now we're just gonna have to do a little bit of research and uh, purchase the replacement batteries. Luckily, it turns on, and uh, even with the old batteries, it turns on, you can see the lights, and kind of hear like the motor wanting to click, but there's just not enough juice. And if you guys ever check out one of these uh, Razor products, make sure you check on the frame, because they'll usually say the date of manufacture. And on this one, it was a 2018, so it makes sense that the batteries are dead, now approaching six years old. Uh, so everything checked out there. Just kind of make sure the stories line up whenever you uh, go to check these things out. But yeah, let's uh, hop on Amazon or uh, one of these sites next and make sure we get the right batteries. And then the next part will be us installing them and then uh, get ready to list it and see how it does selling. All right, guys, here it is for 75 bucks. One of these Razor Dune buggies. Uh, I don't know, they look kind of interesting. Um, let me set this down, we'll pull it out, and I'll show you guys what the controls are like on it and what we're gonna have to replace. All right, guys, let's see. Oh. The controls are super weird on this. There's like one brake, uh, thumb throttle, 24 volt cart. There it is. There's the cart, and uh, this is where we're gonna have to replace the batteries. I think we're gonna have to pop this cover off, and I believe there's two batteries in there that we have to replace. And um, here's the controls. Sit down here, got a thumb throttle. Shows your power, full, low. And you can kind of see the light is on. And it's, so it shows a 24 volt, it's low, and you can, you can see it wanting to go. Um, honestly, before we order the batteries, let's try charging this for 12 hours 
and see what happens because sometimes these batteries just need a really long charge and they can be uh, brought back to life. So let's try that first before we drop the money on the batteries and we'll see what happens. All right, let's go put this inside and uh, get it charging. And if you guys go to check out one of these, this is where you see the date. As you can see, it's um, September 8th, 2018. I believe his manufacture date on this. So like I said, it's pretty old. So these batteries probably won't charge up, but we might as well give it a shot before spending that extra money. All right, guys, just got the package in for the new batteries for this Razer Dune buggy for the episode two of this series, trying to get to 10K. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. I did some more research and I found these things on sale for like $500 new. Um, so I'm not sure what we're going to be able to sell it for, but let's throw some new batteries on it. I've never replaced batteries before, so we'll see how that is. But uh, I think they just go right behind this cover um, and uh, just got to connect the uh, wiring harness. But I'll show you guys that whole process just in case you guys ever have to do it. All right, so we have a couple Allens here. Let's see if we can access them. There we go. Just two on this side, two on the other side. I'll show you guys right here. So right on the sides is where those where those are. Let's see. All right. Next is these Phillips. Let's see if we can get some video. There is one, two, three, four, four Phillips that we'll have to undo. And one more. Should pop off. Oh, got one more Phillips. All right, so once you take off that cover, you have two of these 12 volt batteries. Um, we got our motor and then controller over there. I'll show you guys that. Whenever you take the cover off, make sure you don't yank it or you could pull the on off rocker switch and charger outlet um, out of the cover and you could mess that up. So be gentle there. But uh, we got a couple Allens holding this battery cover off then a couple of connectors and we should be able to pop these batteries off and throw the new ones in and hopefully the cart works. All right, these two should be easy. There we go. All right, now with that disconnected, you can just pull your battery mount off, slide it out just like that. Make sure you uh, keep these for whenever you reinstall. And then you have a fuse plug right here. Um, it's a 30 amp fuse. And then you have your main connector over here, which let's see if we can get a view of that. So we're gonna disconnect that, which looks to be a press, just like that and we are disconnected. All right, so now that we have the old batteries out, let's just line up our new batteries with the same orientation. So we got positive, negative, positive, negative, just like the old ones. And we have our new harness connectors that are supposed to look the exact same. So let's open these up and see if we can get it to connect the same way. All right, so we got our two separate um, wires, one with the fuse just like that. So that looks like it's gonna stay on the inners just like that one. And then these are gonna stay on the outers. So let's try to connect that. I'll try to 
make sure you guys can see what's happening. So let me place it like that. There we go. Okay, so the fuse. This one is just going to go, looks like it can go pretty much either way. So we'll have this guy plugging in there and then this one plugging in right there. Now we have our fuse properly installed. So now let's just do our other wiring and make sure your red goes with positive, black with negative. Um, and I believe you should do positive first when reconnecting. So just like that and like that perfect so I think we are connected properly now let's put it right back in the cart connect it and hopefully the cart fires up all right just like that All right, guys, we got it all buttoned up in the back. Uh, these tires, though, are pretty flat on both sides. So we're going to air up the tires, hopefully jump in and see if this thing runs, then get it ready to list. As well, we ran into a bit of an issue. All the other tires were good, but this valve stem is not correctly in there. I, I don't know exactly what's happening, so may remove this wheel to check it out and see if we can fix it. But other than that, I think the cart's going to be okay. Just got to figure that out. Well, we got the tire off and unfortunately is not a good discovery. Uh, the inner tube, the valve stem was broken off. So that's why it was kind of wiggling like that, not taking any air. So we ordered a set of new inner tubes. I only needed one, but Amazon um, had quickest delivery for a set. So that was $10. So now we're in at $150 on this Razor Dune buggy. Definitely not where I wanted to be but hopefully we can make it out without losing any money. We'll see what happens. Well, we got the new inner tube in the tire, so we just gotta slap it on there, and hopefully this thing's gonna be ready to go and we can list it and sell it, hopefully for some profit. Let's see what happens. Just like that, we got the tire on. Let's take it off the jack and uh, see if this thing can ride around. All right, the moment of truth, that full power, see what happens there we go so there we go got the car all up and running like that not too much work and just time to list it and hopefully it sells hopefully we can make at least 50 or 100 bucks uh, off this thing we'll see what happens All right, guys, so we should be showing up soon. We got the uh, episode two Razor Dune buggy right here. I have my camera hidden behind my truck glass, so it's pretty much impossible to see. But I'm um, going to try to get a video of just the interaction, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This guy should be pulling up uh, any second now. I see a truck. I don't know if that's going to be him, but... Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, sorry, that parking lot's huge, so it's oh, always yeah, confusing. I, I went there, and then I went there. Yeah, yeah. So what's the deal with this? Yeah, we've had this for quite a while. The batteries were dead because we just let it sit for so long. Yeah. And then when I came to sell, just didn't want to um, sell a dead battery. So uh, we, we replaced them, just got them on Amazon and oh, threw you on got some new, new ones. Batteries? Yeah, all brand new batteries. Yeah, I literally just replaced a week ago. Yeah, you can drive it around if you want. Oh, I'm like 200. Oh, well, I can drive it for you just to show you <laughs> yeah. that it runs and everything. But it's uh, here's the brake. You have a handbrake, and yeah. then here's the throttle. It's just a thumb throttle. Yeah. And you just. And it's a lot faster with kids because they weigh less. But uh, but yeah, it's got all brand new batteries. Brakes work. All right, cool. Yeah.
I have a six year old, I think he's going to oh, kick Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll probably, oh, it'll be fun for him. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a charger as well. Okay, cool. Sweet. Thank oh, it's going to roll. Right. Do you need help lifting? It's kind of heavy. The battery section is pretty heavy. Um, okay. Cool. I can, uh, I can grab the rear if you want to grab the front. There you go. You're going to put that on the Christmas tree. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love it. Good. Awesome, man. Thank cool. So yeah, no problem. Thank you so yeah, much. You too. Thank See ya. All right, guys, so finally sold the uh, Razor Dune buggy for episode two of this series. Um, like, within cr chronological order, this one actually took the longest to sell. I had a couple other flips that are in the series that actually sold quicker, but in the episode um, order, I couldn't put them out yet. So now the other ones will be put up soon. Uh, you guys can go check those out. Those ones are pretty fun. But I actually, you know, really enjoyed this one. We only made 50 bucks, which is not that good. But I uh, learned a lot about battery install, inner tube change, and just uh, being able to go in with a lot less money just shows that you don't need to have a bunch of money to turn it into, into more. So uh, that was a fun episode. Maybe we'll do another one of those in the future where we purposely choose a lower priced item and see what we can do. So be on the lookout for episode three, four, and there's going to be more coming on our way to 10K. I'll catch you guys there. See ya.